Welcome to EBI SQL e Invoice Sharing. We proudly invite Mr. Brian Chong, who is the Ambassadors and Speakers of SQL Accounting Software. He is a CEO of Syntax Technology as well. We are going to share a series of Q&A about e-invoice to all of you. If you are first time watching this video, please watch our previous video so that you can get the better understanding of e-invoice. I have a friend asked me a question, if she employed a PACA that been for her office, which this maid do not issue invoice and the company need to pay him with the payment vouchers. Under this situation, what are the supporting documents the company can use? Under e-invoice era, as I mentioned before, e-invoice is used for proof of expenses and also proof of income. So if you want to declare the payment to your PACA for the tax purpose, then you need to have an e-invoice. But because the maid do not have a company to issue e-invoice, then you need to do something called self-build e-invoice. What is self-build e-invoice? Now, self-build e-invoice is especially when you face a circumstances where your supplier not able to issue you with an e-invoice, then you need to act on behalf and issue an e-invoice on behalf of your supplier to yourself. Then you are able to use this self-build e-invoice for tax purposes. Under what circumstances we have to issue the self-build e-invoice? There are few circumstances you are allowed to issue self-build e-invoice by LHDN. First of all, you make payment to your dealers, agents and distributors who are not a registered company. Secondly, you purchase a goods service from foreign country supplier. Third, profit distribution, example, paying dividend. Fourth, e-commerce transaction and also payout to betting and gaming winners. And the last one is when you purchase a service or goods from a non-registered person, meaning that they do not have a company to issue you with an e-invoice. Under all this scenario, you are allowed to issue self-built e-invoice. Wow, sound not that easy. But anyway, it's good for us to learn all this and then get ready yourself. At least with that, you know when you should issue self-built e-invoice. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you, Ryan. Stay okay. tuned for our next video. Bye.